Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. We're flashing red. Welcome back to Breath of the Wild. Uh, this is episode 16, I think. Uh, yeah, this is episode 16. Uh, welcome back. In the last episode, we had quite the adventure. We def uh, defeated the Hinox, uh, which was fun. Our first, like, real boss battle. Uh, we traveled a lot over this, uh, whatever this area of the map is that I don't have a name for. Uh, we just, we, we traveled through the ruins, uh, and the road, um, that I forget the name of already, like Lunerul or something like that. Traveled over some mountains and made it here. The reason I'm not healing myself just yet is because I think, uh, I want to do some cooking while I'm here. And to do that, I also want to get these apples. Uh, we're going to go up this tower today and get a map for the area. But, uh, first things first. I want to see if I can chop these down. Um, nope, okay. Well, that was wrong. I cannot chop them down. Okay, interesting. Well, I could probably just... It's probably just saying, like, climb them very carefully. But, uh... You know. Uh, I want to be careful. So, uh, we have a piece of flint that we can use to start a fire. We don't have very many pieces of flint. We do have one, and if we chuck it right here, I think. And then we hit it with a metal weapon. Use something unimportant, like maybe this. No! Ah! That didn't work. Okay. Shoot! I have one more piece of flint, but I am nervous. If it doesn't work, then I'm really in trouble. Is there any fire around here anywhere? There's a woods over there. Hmm. Okay. I have an idea. I think, I think let's do this. Let's just eat enough to survive right now. And we will... Uh, we're going to pick this up another time. This little, this little place right here. Uh... Oh, we're going to go for the tower. I saw after... Oh, did that fox just die? No. That was heartbreaking. I saw on the other side of this little cliff here a building uh, where ideally maybe somebody lives and maybe they have a, a, a lit fire already. You know? I'm not sure. Nintendo Tower. So my thought is, uh, let's be very careful. See if we can climb this tower. If we can, uh, we'll see if we can't. Oh, it's going to. Oh, interesting. They're going to limit. Oh, we're going to limit the ways that we can climb here. Meaning we have to have enough stamina, meaning I might need to eat some stuff to refill my stamina. I hope I have what it takes here, because if I don't, then we're going to need to cook. I kind of think maybe the reason that that fire didn't work is because of uh, I wasn't using a piece of firewood. I was just using the thing that existed there. I probably should have set up flint, firewood, and then the thing. But, you know, I didn't do that. So, okay. We can probably just go straight up here. There's a little winding to the right as well. As long as there's no, like, chests or anything over there, then... I don't see a reason to go there. Can reset our stamina right here real quick. Kind of looks like we can just climb this right here, yeah? Right up there? Yeah, easy. Okay. Not bad at all. These thorns are scary, but uh, I don't think they actually limit us much. I thought it was going to be a whole maze where we have to go up and then back down a little bit and then... And then you know. But, not bad at all. We should have enough to finish this climb. And then we get a new map. Which I'm very excited about. Because the maps in this game are my favorite thing ever. Alright. Sweet. Let's do it. Shakira Slate. Go for it. Give me that good blue juice. 
at Glacial Freeze. This music too. It didn't destroy the thorns, did it? There, there's no reason for it to have destroyed the thorns. That'd be kind of cool if it did, but. Hmm. All right. So what we're what we're in this area to do is actually to repair our our uh, slate. So. Um, ideally, when we get to that village, that will do it. Regional map extracted. Let's take a look. So, we are here. Oh, we're in the middle of this, uh... The Cliffs of Quince and Oakle's Navel. We have totally missed. Uh, there's something here that we missed. I think that's where the house is. I think the house is, like, right here that I was looking at. Marblod Plain, Furley Plateau. We still have a long way to go to get to the actual uh, village. The Tenno Village. Ooh, look at all this coastal work out here. That is all water. Interesting. Okay. So we're, we're actually... This is maybe the edge of the map on this side. Okay. So... Oh, is that the village? That is definitely the village. Aw, the windmills. It's beautiful. Quite a different vibe than the first one. So, uh... There's a bunch of ruins there. Let's take a look around and see what's interesting. We can put markers on, uh, on what interests us. My red marker should be gone. My yellow marker, I honestly am just going to remove because I don't remember what it was. It was something in the village. So, uh, we have something. I need to get out on this, actually. We have the house right here. But I can't actually mark, so I'm just going to put that marker there. It won't let me look down far enough. That's basically that. There's, uh, let's see here. There's obviously the village, which is marked for its own reasons. What else looks interesting? I mean, this this bridge looks cool. That's actually right where we were supposed to go earlier, and we did not go there. Like, supposed to go on the way up here. Um, I kind of want to drop through one of these things. I'll be honest with you. And let's go look a different direction and see. And see what we can see. Um, I'm wondering what's going on with these thorns. That's the other thing that's kind of on my mind is like What's caused all these? Oh, there is a big uh, a big thing right here A big bacoblin fort The way the clouds move over the landscape so freaking cool I also, oh, no, yep, okay, well, I also was going to say that I wanted to make sure to get to, I think this is, this is cool looking, uh, even, even if it's right, that right there is cool looking, even if it's right beside the village, or the, the house that I want to get to, all right, uh, let's go to the house, it's directly below me, um, but I need to eat, so, uh, and I need to cook, Let's just assume that it's good. Assume that it's good good people. Oh, there's lots of loot here, though. Let's do a little bit of looting on the way in. Okay, we'll do a little bit of, little bit of mining. Lots of rock salt in this area. Yeah, lots of rock salt here. Okay. Uh, there should be some more of it over here somewhere, I think I saw. 
Oh, but there are some mushrooms. Some rush rooms, sorry. Yeah, right here. Okay. And then it kind of looks like just falling down from here, I can find more stuff, but I want to make sure I have the distance to make it right there. So we're just gonna go for it, I think. Although there is a little, there's a little bridge. Great. Ooh, I have another idea. Hey, that's some flint. I have another idea that could help us out here. It kind of seems like this this weapon does not break, and if that is the case, I am really excited about that because uh, durability is one of the things that is hardest for me to get used to here. Um, I just keep like everything. Everything keeps breaking. Okay, we did this the other day. That's gonna kill a couple. Can we grab a couple? Easy, easy dinner. Easy dinner. Uh, let's get over across this bridge. See who lives here. See if there's any resources. One more fish there. Yep. Is that gonna work? Probably a little bit far. That is a little bit far. But the good news is, I think I can just grab you. Come here. There you go. Mighty cart. I don't even need the bridge. The river is so short. Is so uh, so short here. Oh, a bug. A beetle. Bladed rhino beetle. Razor sharp horns demand that you handle it with care. Boil the horns alongside monster parts. Who concoct an elixir that will raise your attack power. It says boil the horn and not the whole item, but rusty halberd. I guess I have space for it. Hello, does anyone live here? Oh, sorry. No one lives here. I'm just gonna. Don't mind me. Just gonna break these things. I was really hoping for a uh, a full a a lit uh, fire. And there's also not a book here. Or anything. Oh, some arrows though. That proves that it is worth. Uh, oh, it is worth. Uh, Breaking the bowls and stuff. Ouch. Did he just attack his friend? It kind of looked like he attacked his friend there. Okay, there is uh, something a little funny going on there. The cobbling right there, over there. We have these things. There's a ton of arrows in here, and there's these all over the place. I wonder why. I mean, I broke it. I kind of get a feeling like maybe this is a completionist thing. Like, if we break them all with arrows, then something happens? Korok? Potentially? That's three. It's in a circle, too. I wonder if it's like from horseback or something. Four. Oh, look at this little puddle. Oh, snoozling the cobbling. That was four. There's this one for five. We got ten. We got fifteen arrows, but we got ten arrows easily. I wonder if there's a. Uh, there's ten of them or what? I should probably try and sneak attack this guy. Honestly, right here, the big one. Oh, there's a couple big ones. No, 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 no. Ouch. that. I'll take this. 
Hit him, hit him. Hit him, please. Okay. All right, we got to use a better gun. We got a better weapon than this. Use our sword. Come on. Oh, dodge. The, 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 the dodge. I probably don't need to hit that button so many times either, actually. I think he dies after just a couple hits. An emblazoned shield. Features a traditional design from Nekluda. Combat capabilities aren't much better than the standard wooden shield. Found popularity for its design. I can't carry any more anyways. It is pretty. I guess I'll take it over that. Uh, the spiked shields are better, though. Um, okay. Oh, you guys... Oh, no. You can't see me. You can't see me. You can't see me. You can't see me. No, we're stinking. We're stinking. We're stinking. We're stinking. Ha-ha! <laughs> My Zora sword is damaged, which is a real bummer, because I like it a lot. Oh, well. R.I.P. to that sword. We better get used to that feeling. Saying goodbye to the swords. <gasps> Shield of the Mind's Eye. Wait, wait, that's the good one. Those are the great ones. Oh, you got a, you got a fire thing. Ah! I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Please die. My sword broke. No! This is the danger with fire. I lit everything on fire, too. No. We just got one, and we already broke it. Crap. Oh, my God. There's so many of these things. Of these, uh... Of these targets. Are you kidding me? Are we going to do the same thing where I, I crack a million targets? A wooden shield that's only worth two. I use a million arrows for, for no good reason. There's one there. I don't think there's any more over here. Rusty shield here. I already grabbed all this stuff. Okay. A couple more targets. Oh, there's some humans over there. What's this what? sign say? Equestrian riding course. It is a riding course. Dang it. It's a trap, though. It's definitely a major trap. I bet the other thing is that you have to shoot them while on horseback in order to get a reward. And I'm, I'm out here uh, doing it uh, this way. There's probably not going to be any reward, but here we go. Oh, no. I, I made you mad. Yep. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm using a bad sword. This really does not do much. Alright, we'll hit him a bunch. Traveler's sword for the win. That ought to do it. Get out of here, friend. RIP to all of these arrows, but I just have to see if it'll do anything, you know? This is there is a there is a raft over there, so there's definitely something interesting going on over here. Uh, something up there too. Oh, there's one above the house. That's cool. Nice. A car seed. I wonder if that was there at first. I don't think it was, right? I think we just broke the last one. Oh, hello. I probably shouldn't do that. I, I need to save my arrows now. Ah! Ouch. Okay. All right. We can do this. Get close to you. Hit you a bunch. Let's break this sword. Okay, we're going to take a different sword. 
Actually, we got this Boko Bat. Blacky upside the head with it a couple times. There you go. We're getting better at the combat. Moblin Spirit. Now you, now you don't have a weapon. Yeah, I stole it. How do you feel about that? How you feel about that, buddy? Does anybody else want some of Link the Coblin Slayer? Oh, crap. I was going to sneak attack you. We hit each other so hard. <laughs> All right. We're just going to clear this area for now. That was a cool, that was a really sweet move right there. All right, we're getting better. Just keep upgrading weapons. Oh, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. I'm stuck, I'm stuck on a tree. We did die, dang it, no, ah, shoot. Ah. I should have healed. Do you guys happen to have a fire over here? Because I could really use some, uh, some heals. <laughs> All right, we got the Korok, and then we headed this way and screw and 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 messed them all up. Let's see if we can do it sneaky this time. Some sneak strikes would be great. Save ourselves the danger. The uh, durability on our weapons. We'll be a little bit patient. Uh, there's that. Nope, no, no, come here. There you go. I'll take this. Moblin spear. Uh, there's definitely some fireflies here, but other than that, it's just the more the enemies over here. Let's do some more sneaking. We have lots of stuff to cook with here. We got herbs. We got a couple flowers, which uh, are I don't think. We're cooking, but there's apples in this tree. No, 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 no. We don't see any. Ow! You son of a bitch! My weapon broke after one hit. Love that. Keep you at a distance. See how you like that. Taste your own medicine here. I got this from your brother. Take your, I'll take your weapon, too. Yep, there you go. It feels so rude to just use their weapons against them. Uh, we should heal. We should heal. We should heal. We should heal. Also, let's use a better so uh, shield for now. Um, Even just a small heal. Small little heal. Small little Hylian Shroom. Give me a chance to make it through the night. Miss those. Whack you a bunch over the head. Quick little looting. Whack you a bunch of times. Ouch. We need to avoid that. Our thing broke, but now we take your Serpentine Spear. Spearhead of this weapon is uniquely Sheikah in design. Interesting. I like it. It's beautiful. The curve. Spearmasters of the Sheikah tribe can use the crescent shape to snag their opponents. I am, however, weak once again. It. I don't think I have any meals that are perfect for this. Mid-level cold resistance. Low-level cold resistance. I really don't. But if I eat a raw material, we're just going to... It's fine. All right. We'll just eat a raw material. I need to make sure you die here. And then I have to find a way to... We've been low on food for so long. Alright, there were apples up here. I think... Hear me out here. Apple tree? Nope. Let's just cut it down. See if that is the ideal way to do this. It drops all the apples. 
I did not mean to grab a tree branch. That's going to be useless. Apple over here. Apple over here. Some acorns. Oh, lots of acorns. Spicy peppers. Good. We got some food. Oh, our woodcutter's axe is weak now, though. Okay. Trade-offs. Uh, cool. There's fire here. So we at least have this. And we'll run over. Oh, I forgot when you sprint, it goes away. Shit. Every time. And this is where I don't remember. Was there a cooking thing over here? There's a cooking thing at the tower. Come on, please. Please have a cooking thing. I don't think they have one. I don't remember, though. Often there's like a torch thing there underneath that little thing, but there isn't here. Damn it. Hmm. All right, well. Got one out back? No? Shit. There's one all the way up at the tower. Let's try something crazy. Can you fast travel with a lit torch in your hand? And does it work? No, it didn't work. <laughs> well, bummer. That's all right. Let's try and use the flint. We'll see if we can figure out why it didn't work last time. We got we got to cook at some point. Have to cook at some point. We're just we're too weak to not. Okay. The other thing I'm thinking here is hit you. Ah, oh, it did break. Shoot. I thought maybe I could get two hits out of it. No. An apple here, though. All right. So, let's use some flint. Hold it. I guess let's put it here. And then uh, use the firewood by it. Oh, don't you roll. Don't you roll. Don't you roll, you son of a bitch. There we go. Now... The thing is, we also used a spear, which I thought was going to count as a metal weapon. It's possible that didn't work? That'll do it. Okay. Is it supposed to rain here soon? Oh, shit. It's supposed to rain here soon. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, piss. That's funny. Well, I uh, probably should have seen that one coming. It did. Oh, I mean, should we set. F I mean. We should try it, right? Set fire to the torches? Is the tower going to burn down? This is either a great moment or a terrible moment. Like a lit fuse. All right, let's get to cooking because rain is coming. Because rain is coming so quickly. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, cook it before eating to temporarily increase your max hearts. Monster parts for a speed boosting elixir. Okay, I think we're going to want to hold, hold, hold. Increasing defense and... Wait, we need the one that increases max defense. Maybe that's not the thing that I'm thinking of. Hmm. Temporarily increase your max hearts. Seems like a lot. 
On the other hand, let's do it. I have no time to listen to the animation because it's about to mushroom skewer. It looks awesome. How did that work? Did that work well? Oh, it didn't do everything that I thought it was going to do, though. Okay, interesting. Okay. We're going to try just a mushroom and an acorn. Mushroom skewer is like my bread and butter. It's tr it's truly, it's the thing that keeps me alive. Uh, the other thing I'm thinking is one bass, one acorn. You got to skip the thing. Fish skewer is perfect. Truly perfect. Uh, I need as many of those as I can make. And and, and exact and exactly in that... Uh, how's the fire doing? Fire's doing fine. It's honestly barely going. Like I I need it to be uh, as many of those as I can as as I can possibly make. One of you. One of you. Okay. Oh, fire's out. Damn it. Yeah, on the on the tower. Okay. Uh. The tower's not made of wood, right? It'll be fine. Uh, cooking it makes it more delicious. Let's just use one of these. Eat it. Just a meat skewer. Two to three health is my is the perfect area right now. Hold. One of those. How did we do this again? We did something with like. Do one salt and one apple. Seems terrible. Could be good. Simmered fruit. I think that's literally what you get by just. I think that's what you get by just putting an apple in. So I probably should have done that. Okay, one apple simmered fruit. One at a time. Let's make a million of those. Ah, it's the wrong, wrong button. Shit. Okay, we skip, we skip, we skip. Sorry that I'm being speedy, but I'm imagining it's going to rain any second now. That's the wrong button. <laughs> Although, the... If I'm in my menu... And I skip the animation. It looks like almost no time passes. It's 8.30 when I came into the menu. Let's see. Let's do some experiment. Uh, 8.30 when I came into the menu. Do we have any other base ingredients? Uh, normal food, right? This increases your heart recovery when used as an ingredient. I don't know what that means. We'll figure it out eventually, but I don't know what that means for now. Iron Shroom prepares, uh, increases your defense. We get this guy. Cook it with monster parts for a speed boosting elixir. These heightened senses. Silent Shrooms are silent as well. Hardy Truffle has increased your max hearts. Uh, and then we should have a couple. We have, we have Hylian Rice. Probably needs to be added as a part of something. Oh, we have a whole other menu over here. I'm, I forgot. I forgot about this whole menu. Shoot. The mellish room, rush rooms, um, herbs. We can just cook together. I think if we cook one herb alone, what's that do? One herb alone is a five heart item. I mean, BRB while I cook all of those. We've just cooked two meals. Oh, no, that one's only two. And it is still 8.30. So, yeah, you can you can get away with absolutely no time passing. Basically. Sweet. Fried wild greens. So, I must have accidentally added something else to the last one. Let's see what the recipe was. I can always go over here. So there's some randomness because this one, this one, it's underneath my, my my camera, but this just says fried wild greens. It looks the exact same. It raises five. This one, these both raise two. Okay. So occasionally you just get lucky with a high rule herb, and it does more. I know we could be experimenting a lot more right now, but we've been so low on food that I'm kind of just like. 
Let's get some good, solid resources before we start experimenting more. Okay. Uh, mix it with critters to make something useful. Let's try it. A key swing and a high-tailed lizard. That is one critter, one monster part. Which is brew. Boil, boil, toil, and trouble. Hasty elixir. Blue Nightshade gives you more stealth, and I have 34 of them. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Um, this is a monster part. And let's let's put it with a critter. Do we have any critters left? Cooked with monster parts. Compound causes it, allows you to move more quietly. Let's try one of these. So a sunset firefly and a horn of a moblin, I think. Or a lizolfo, maybe. Sneaky elixir. Okay. Yeah, it was a moblin horn. Do we have any other critters? Let's try it with one of these. A frog. Speed boost effect. And raising your attack power. Try that. This should be a attack power elixir. A mighty elixir. Low level might effect. Strengthens your body and mind to boost your attack power with all weapons. Cool. We're learning. Uh, okay. Well, we have one more critter. And that is the uh, that we haven't tried, and that is the hot footed frog. So this should probably be another hasty effect, and we could I think we could make them stronger by putting in more ingredients. But uh, yeah, hasty elixir. Okay. All right. I wonder if there's anything else I want to try. We have a ton of spicy peppers for cold stuff, which we could try. Um. What happens when you do five of these again? Let's find out. Five spicy peppers. We're making some hot salsa. Low level for 12 and a half minutes. That's a lot of that's a lot of time. It's just not quite as strong. We also have this palm fruit. Um Okay. Mid-level, what was the recipe on this? Spicy and a shroom. Okay. Okay. We made a lot of food there. We could probably stand to use some more, honestly. But... um, For now, what if we tried this? Put one sneaky snail and one sunset fly uh, firefly? And a Lizolfo's Talon. So this is two different effects, I think. One sneak and one is... Uh... No, they're both sneak. Sorry, they're both sneaks. So I think it just made it last longer. I think we probably would have needed to put some of both in to make it really strong. Anyways. Uh, when cooked into a dish, it boosts your stamina beyond its maximum limit. That's the carrots. Let's try one of uh, just that. See what happens. Because the other thing is that we have lots of health recovery. Basic vegetable dish made by sauteing overfills your stamina wheel. Okay. Cool. We've made lots of health stuff. Let's make some stuff that might help us with our defense, etc. Excellent. The other thing I'm thinking is, let's grab you. Let's light some more thorns on fire just because it's fun. I like watching the world burn. I mean, the thorns burn. I lit the grass on fire. Jesus Christ. Go up here. See if we can do it. 
The tower won't burn. There's no way, right? Imagine you light it on fire before you ever get a chance to go up the tower. Uh oh. I want to watch the fire climb the entire the build the entire building. It just seems cool, you know. It seems like the the kind of what if question that this game just like loves to loves to reward you for asking. Some people just like to watch the world burn. I love this game. All right. Well. Uh, let's. Ah, oh, shit. I put up my torch. Rain is coming any minute now. Did we light it on fire? It did not appear to light it on fire. We could try it one more time just for fun. Our cooking fire went out, actually, which is interesting. That's not what I meant. Let's go see if we can do it. I don't think I can climb with my torch out either. I think I have to be careful. Not to, uh, like... Yep. Just like that. Shit. Yep. Well, well, well. Alright, well. Uh, we've cooked some stuff. We're much, we're much happier in terms of cooking. There's more stuff that we could definitely have played around with, but we're much happier. Do I have anything that'll just give me a small heart? One simmered fruit. Uh, I'd call that a major win. The house is kind of, uh, not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. Um... We did find a Korok. We did not get to this raft yet, which we should do. Also, this bridge over there. I feel like we should kind of attack these mob, these, these Pukoblins, yeah? Uh, over this way? Let's just get in there, like swimwear. If we go straight to the top, the, young, the ones on the bottom can't attack us. Also, I can just blow up some torches here. Oh, hello, friend. Uh, let's take you. I could do that and knock it off, couldn't I? Let's try it. That's not the right attack. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I could swing and knock you off. Yep, there you go. Much better. I'm stealth. I am stealth. No one's blown a horn yet, so I think we're fine. I have an idea. I have an idea. No, I thought it would send you flying. Instead, you have no idea where I'm coming from. This is even better. That was the wrong way, but still. I wonder if I can grab this and focus at the same time. It doesn't really look like it. Although maybe it just doesn't want to focus on the enemy right now. He's so mad. <laughs> An opal? Incredible. Oh, now you see me? Ah, that's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. That's alright, you're dead anyways. I, I leave way too many of these things on the ground. Traveler's sword. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's an that's an excuse for me to blow something up. Let's try this again. We actually had a question about these earlier. That did not work, and I don't have a bomb one. Shit. Hmm. Okay. I bet I have to use a bomb or a fire one to blow those up. I thought maybe if I shot them, they would just explode over time, but it does not appear that that's working either. 
Let's try one of these. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll sh that'll surely do it. I knocked him off. Actually, he didn't he didn't die, but he fell all the way off. That's funny. These guys have no idea. You ready for this? Sneak up behind you. Oh, there was somebody up here. I swear. Yeah. Right behind you. We're getting a little bit better at this game, right? I mean, I'm pretty proud of that. Oh, shit. Now you guys are all mad. Uh, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Take one of those. Ah, uh, didn't work. Oh, God. Oh, run, 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 run. Run and heal. Run and heal. Run and heal. Okay, okay, okay. I thought... They used my own. They used my own method against me. Uh, do I have anything that is just a small heal? Small heal. You would be perfect, actually. Okay, let's run them out of those. We don't want them to have any bombs left. On the other hand, that'll do it. That'll freak. Oh, we're on fire. That'll freaking do it. I don't even think... I think he blew himself up because my bomb did not go off. Wait, that's hilarious. Hi, friends. You can't even get up here. What, do, you have a, do you have a walkway I could get onto? Yeah, I know. There's, there's only two of you, though, so I'm not that scared. You don't have a walkway? Do I have to glide over from here? I'll do it. I just... I don't even know if you have any loot over here. I just thought maybe... Uh... I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, that almost worked. Maybe I can climb up one of these things. Nope. This is the hardest part of this game, I swear. Okay, if you jump in front of these, you can climb them. But it's raining. I forgot it's raining. Shit. Okay, well. didn't go the right way. Can I climb up here? It kind of looks like I should be able to fit through this gap. But I can't, which is hilarious to me. Alright, let's try climbing this. I want to kill these guys. I don't even think there's that much loot up here. Dang it. Doesn't work. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, I could go back up to... I better just go back up to the tower and fall off again. Which, I mean, we can do. Paraglide, paraglide off again. Oh my god, I realized I didn't start the timer and it's already been 50 minutes for this episode. How does this happen? How does this happen? Oh well. Uh, I got so much less done than I wanted to. Alright, we'll keep going for a little bit. Son of a gun. I got like two, two pieces of uh, two places of interest uh, explored here. Hi friends. Yep, you're dead. Let me just open this real quick. You hold that and just stay there for just a second. That's not gonna. Oh no! Why would you do this to both of us? I fell off the shit too. Why? You dummy. You absolute dummy. Now look what you've done. I can't even get back up there. Is 
sacrificed his own his own life and position on top of the thing <laughs> to knock me off of it. I think we can. Uh, I don't. I don't even know that there's any more loot there, but there might be. So uh, I was also thinking maybe there would be like arrows. That, that's mostly what I was interested in. I'll be honest with you. All right, any good loot up here? It really doesn't look like it. Bummer. Hmm. Other than the thing we already got. All right, cool. Well, uh, sweet. So, what do we? Uh, what else do we want to do? There's a little uh area over here. This ruin that I kind of want to check out. Oh, hello. So this. Nope, that looks metallic though. Oh, that almost landed on my head. Yeah, ha -ha. All right, cool. Well, that's just a Korok seed. <laughs> I accidentally dropped it on its head. Wait, that makes me wonder. Can I? Hypothetically speaking. Hi, just hypothetically speaking. If one were to accidentally hit the B button. <laughs> You're not mad at me? Hypothetically speaking, if one were to accidentally take a swing. All right. Well, now I'm just sad. You didn't even you didn't even get mad at me. I thought for sure this would be something sad. Or uh uh you you would have a uh, a response. But instead, let me get some loot, please. Now, final question of the episode. What is this raft for? Ah, that's not good. That'll be good for something. There's something in the... Oh, that's probably it. Okay, so I'm going to need a... Oh, Lord. I'm going to need a... Uh... Hello. A million acorns over here. I'm going to need a leaf. Oh, shit. I can't cut this thing down. I'm gonna need a leaf, and I'm gonna need uh, to kill this guy over here who's causing problems for me. And then we can uh, we can proceed from here. Ah! Anything else in here? Please stop hitting me, sir. You are a menace to society. That was a good shot, actually. I just, I just need to climb. Oh lord! I'm trying to do it in too much of a panic. Okay, we need to get on top of the tree, then forward. Oh, you son of a! That's gonna, that's gonna hit me. That's a direct shot. Unfortunately, I can't really chop things down right now. I don't think because we don't have an axe. Let's just go kill this motherfucker. Oh, that's a good shot. We're going to die. It's a great shot, actually. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Okay. You're an easy kill. Grab some quick frogs. Grab some quick stuff. Ooh, obviously I don't need to use the bow. I can just use this. I think. I hope. All right. Let's do it. 
There's something out in the middle of this lake, and we're going to go get it. Oh, that there's also this guy in the middle who's ready to fight us. I just saw him right there. Okay. Where is it at? Right kind of underneath him. Shit. We're going to be stranded out here. We can do this. Getting pretty good at this, I would. If I do say so myself. We're going to have to do it with an arrow, though, for sure. I wonder if I can hit it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I wonder if I can hit him with an arrow before he comes up. That'll do it. Uh, okay. So, where's this at? We gotta be close. Come on. I'm getting better at, uh, at navigating the menu in this game. I know that's, like, kind of the bare minimum. I've been playing it for 15 hours now, but... Uh, you know, or, or close. We are not as bad as we used to be. Hey. Chalk arrows. Wow. I, I should have read the description there. Instead, I skipped past it. An arrow imbued with the power of electricity breaks apart on impact, channeling electricity into nearby objects. Incredibly effective against anything metal or wet. Hell yeah. Tentacle Octorok Eyeball. Sell it to a store. Make elixirs with it. May have other uses as well. I kind of feel like from here I could swim over. You know? Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do it that way. Paraglide to the side. That gets us pretty far. Swim, swim. Oh, yeah. Easy. I'm always worried about that stamina. All right. Well, that's uh, that's going to have to do it for this episode. We uh, did some major cooking. Uh, set some stuff on fire. That was fun. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, overall, good episode. We got a lot of looting done. Um, you know. Please hit him. Please, please kill him even. Uh, solved a couple puzzles. You know. Started a major forest fire. We probably should never be allowed to wield a torch again. And yet, here we are. Uh, in the next episode, I'm not sure exactly what we'll get up to, but... That's a question for then and not now. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, a like or a positive comment helps us out. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern time for another video. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with me for the last uh, hour. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.